Hey everyone, how y'all doing? I know it's been a while since I posted a video. But, as you see right there so far is the amount of hay that we have currently. And over here, this field here, is the, one of the last, of uh, the two fields that I cut last. Uh, and it's already getting close to being ready to be cut again. I'm looking, you know, so it's, as you can see, it's uh, getting somewhat, some height to it. Uh, it's a pretty good size field here. And right over here, that's the road right there. So I got all this field here again to cut and then I cut this section here and then behind it RV camper uh, and then this field over here it'll be the first field that I cut this will be cut hopefully this coming Thursday uh, it's pretty much red, about as good as it's going to get I think uh, it's weird how as you can see the stand of it and right there is a line right through here that's a decent stand it'll make decent few rows but I don't know it's weird that this this field and the one I just showed you that one over there, those are the very last two fields that I cut on the first cutting. But, uh, it's the only two fields that are ready to be cut again. Those two fields behind the woods back there, for some reason, they just didn't hardly, they just didn't grow with crap. Uh, the Johnson grass grew better than anything and it's just splotchy it didn't grow like it should you know and very uniformly it just grew in splotches so i don't know what happened to that field back here so these two fields here will be my probably be my most productive fields this year and that's not really good uh for the second cut anyways but um yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. But I know I haven't made a video in a little bit, so I just thought I'd give you an update on my hay situation here and see if anybody else is having the same deal. But uh, I've been working, sleeping, working, working on maintenance on the hay roller. I got some new fuel line from a tractor, and there's my, here's my Dodge truck. I drive it to work back and forth every day. And then my Ford Expedition 2013 model. Uh, got a pretty good truck. It's got 228,000 miles on it. Four wheel drive, 1500. It's got the small V8 5.2 liter in it. It's a good old truck. But uh, yeah. Anyways, this is, like I said, this field and that other field over here to my left, or yeah, my other side of the shop, would be the most productive fields I have for my second cutting. I had to cut that, those two fields back here behind the woods, but I'll be lucky to get uh, 15 maybe rows out of it, if that. I may not even make that many. So... I don't know, kind of sad looking back there. Even all this rain, I don't know. I guess it just ain't got the nutrients to really to cut very, or to uh, grow well. So, uh, anyways, hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all gonna have a good cutting this crop for the second cutting or third cutting, whichever one your own. First cut maybe. And yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated on 
the amount of rows that I make for these fields and let you see the differences between them. This here would be the second field that I'll cut for the second cutting. Not sure when I'll cut it yet. But uh hopefully if rain holds off Thursday I'll cut this other field first. I'll kind of do a comparison on it. But uh anyway it's just a little after seven so I'm gonna go in Give me a bag of popcorn, get me a drink, and go to bed. I gotta be in Nashville at 6 a.m. So y'all have a good weekend or good week. Stay safe. God bless y'all, and I will holler at you later.